Top of the morning, everybody. Okay, it's the morning after. We went to Minnesota. Took a loss, seven point loss. I'm starting to hear the, the little bit of pressure towards Lincoln Riley. Now, I'm not here to defend Lincoln Riley. I'm just here to just state what's going on and what it takes to win these championships and stuff like that. Now, you know, this is year three. So I expect, you know, us to have high expectations. You know what I'm saying? Year one pretty was, was pretty good record-wise. Year two was a big fall off record-wise based on our expectations, based on his year one, and based on us having a returning Heisman winner, you know what I mean, for a quarterback. Um, here we are year three. Sitting at three and two, two heartbreaking losses. I would say I'm saying heartbreaking because winnable games, close losses, not heartbreaking as in you know blowouts, so, you know stuff like that. But let's take it back a few weeks ago for our first loss <clears throat> at Michigan. Aside from the two big plays we gave up, two big running plays we gave up. I think our defense played pretty good. You know, we've seen a lot of improvements on defense. And we threw a pick six. I mean, that was the game right there. Came back, uh, we played um, Wisconsin. Pitched the second half shutout. I think we looked good. Got them spread the ball, spread the ball around a little bit. And, you know, I think we was kind of getting some momentum going into Minnesota. Now, going to Minnesota, we just couldn't really get it going. You know, we couldn't really get it going. I mean, Woody Marks is a hell of a running back. He's a hell of a back. Uh, he kind of makes something out of nothing. Uh, but it just seems like we're just struggling. You know, we're just struggling getting lucky, you know, to get these first downs. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very hard. Like, if we didn't have the athletes that we have, we wouldn't even be, you know, where we at, you know? So we got to give our athletes, you know, a pat on the back. Um, Miller, our quarterback one, uh, he's not up to par. In my in my opinion, he's not, you know, him. I mean, I think we just got what we got. I think we need to recruit, you know, a more aggressive, you know, confident quarterback, you know, and and, and, and we're going to the big team. We're in the big team, you know. College football is changing. It's good to have, you know, mobile quarterbacks. It's good to have, you know what I'm saying, a full package, a dual threat. Um, going back to the uh, bowl game last year, we threw, I think, I believe six touchdowns. Those four of those touchdowns were poorly thrown balls. Our athletes made up for them. So when we made the announcement this year coming in, so he was going to be a starting quarterback, I'm like, oh, wow. You know, I mean, we got what we got, we're at where we at. So, the key thing here is we made improvements. Our defense is pretty good, man. You know, I, I, we got some athletes, we got some guys, we got some ball hawks. We're making some things happen. But I just don't know what it is, what we need to really turn it to the next level for SC to really, really be, you know, a contender. And it's only gonna get harder. We got Penn State at home this week, undefeated. I mean, they're coming to make a statement. Uh, I'm sure they'll be pretty good favorites this week. Uh, it's a lot of pressure on Lincoln Riley, year three. If we go three and three, mm, I can't put it all on Lincoln Riley because it's just, I don't know. Kind of lost for words, you know. This is a I'm trying not to be biased on this video, but you know uh, it, it's hard when <laughs> you see the tire. So let's get it. 